right now. Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make sausages, but not the traditional way where you put the sausage meat into the casing. I find that chocolate sausages have a lot of fat in them. Of course they include fat and that's what gives the flavour. But you can only have so much of that. As I found out on holiday, I was having sausages almost every day for breakfast. And I started piling on the pounds. So I decided that when I go back home, I'm going to make my own sausages. I've made it once before. I've got a mixing bowl here. And into the mixing bowl, I'm going to mix some minced beef. So that's 5% fat. If you want it to be a bit more flavoursome, you could get the 15% fat. It's still a lot less than the regular sausage. I'm mixing it with turkey meat and that's 2% fat. So I'm mixing the two together. I'm going to wear my surgical gloves although I'm not going to be doing any surgery here. I try not to handle food too much so it stays fresh. So I'm going to mix the two together. I'm just going to make sure that they're both combined well. And I'm going to add a pinch of salt. I would say a teaspoon of salt. I had 250 grams of turkey meat and 600 grams of minced beef. And then I'm putting some pepper and I think what would add flavour is garlic. So I'm going to put some garlic in there. The garlic is about two teaspoons and I'm going to put a little bit of English mustard, a teaspoon of it. And next I will add some tarragon. I love the flavour of tarragon. And last but not least I'm going to add a little bit of chilli. So that's red chilies, ground, so it's chilli powder. Right. Again, that's about half a teaspoon. So very little spices added because eventually once you've made your sausages and you put it into a hot dog, you can add your ketchup or mayonnaise or mustard as you please. And I'm not going to forget the onions. We love fried onions. I'm going to show you how to peel some onions and how to chop them. I see a lot of TV programs where they put the onion on a chopping board and literally cut off loads of the onions off, but you don't have to do that. You just have to peel the top off and the tail and once you've got to that position, you just peel it off with a knife. See how easy it is. It comes off very easily. I buy these onions from Sainsbury's and they're only 80p for a bag of one and a half kilos. And I'm going to chop these in my machine and these are the perfect size for it to go through my food processor. You can see I've got my drink ready. I'm not going to do any chopping. All I'm going to do is just switch it on. How easy was that? I've literally chopped a kilo of onions and now it's ready to be fried. I should have been actually sipping my drink then. Mm. Refreshing, it's apple and pear. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fry these onions. I've got a pan here on medium heat and I've got cooking oil. Judging by the quantity of the onions, I might pour five tablespoons and then I'm going to fry the onions. Now, once the onions are fried, if you don't use all of it, not to worry, you can always put it into a plastic container with a lid and leave it in the fridge for when you need it next. You don't have to use all of it in one go. If you want to fry it quicker, all I would normally do is put a lid on there and leave it to fry it happens quicker. And also, you could season the onions with just a pinch of salt become crisper as well and close it and I will show you once it's golden brown what I'm adding here is finely chopped and fried onions I would say medium-sized onions about one and a half or two you could add the onion to your hot dog when you're eating if that's your preference this is just for flavor and so I combine everything together like so and you have to make sure you put the right amount of salt and pepper because you can't really taste it until you've cooked it so it's important that you add the right amount when you're actually making the mixture so that's the mixture there so now I'm going to roll it into sauce shapes. I usually would bake my bread rolls but today I bought some. What I might do is just see how big the roll is. About five inches long so I'm going to make my sausages about that length as well. I'm going to make this into a sausage shape. I know it doesn't look very appetizing or it doesn't even look pretty but trust me this is going to have tons of flavor once it's cooked. It's going to be amazing. That's about the same length as the rolls I have. What I'm going to do with this I'm going to shadow fry them for about 10 minutes until it's thoroughly cooked through and I will show you what it'll look like once it's cooked and in one of these submarine rolls it's going to be delicious. 
Okay, so here the process is. I fry it for about five, six minutes, and that's it. Now I'm going to show you how I'm going to place it into the buns and garnish it with some fried onions, which we fried earlier. Now it's lovely and golden brown, which can be added to our hot dog. Right, so here are the fried sausages. And you can see how much oil is used up. I barely put any oil, and oil is actually drained from the sausage, so that means it's really lean meat now, and it's really healthy. And you can see they've slightly shrunk when I was frying it, and therefore it's not the same length as the bun, so maybe next time I will have to make it slightly longer than the bun, so when it shrinks while cooking, it'll still be the same length as the bun eventually. So as I said, this is 5% fat beef, 600 grams and 250 to 300 grams of turkey meat. So now we can dress this. We can use some grated cheese. So that's just mature cheddar cheese, which is very strong in flavor, so just grate it. And I will sprinkle a little bit of that. My family, they love cheese, so I don't think anyone's going to refuse, but I'm going to make one without cheese. And then we have the American-style mustard, which is very popular to go on top of hot dogs. So I'm going to do a zigzag pattern. And last one, like that. Then I'm going to squish some ketchup. I might do that as well in a slightly smaller zigzaggy pattern. Oh, these are going to be so delicious. And these are the onions we chopped and fried earlier. And it is lovely and golden and delicious. And I shall put some of that onto our hot dogs. Now we leave the last one plain because there's somebody who doesn't really like onions. Gloves off. Now for the taster. I am going to pick one of these up. What do you think I should call my daughter to try it? Okay, come on. I'm going to ask my 10 year old to try it because they love hot dogs, obviously. Let's go try it together, Rosie. Tell me what it's like. One, two, three. Mmm. Mmm, delicious. Nice. Yeah, these hot dogs are really good. Well, you should try this next time at home. It's really delicious. I can't tell you how nice it is if I may say so myself. But try it at home, as I said. It's got very little fat in it in comparison to a regular sausage. And it tastes excellent because you've actually added the spices that you like to eat, which you enjoy and you know. And you can add or take away whatever you don't want. And it's delicious. See you next time. Bye.